Huey McMahon was a playful 19-month-old who loved motorbikes and cars. But on Christmas Eve, his parents noticed him struggling to breathe. He was taken by ambulance to the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital in Glasgow, where doctors tried to resuscitate him. They were saying he'd lost a tremendous amount of blood. And I seen my son lying in a state, just like he'd been in a serious car smash. Um, his blood was all over the floor, he's all over his face. Um, the family were told it was most likely the result of ingesting a button battery like this. They wanted us to show this photo of Huey in hospital fighting for his life as a warning to others. His whole inside was burnt out of him. His heart had a hole in it the size of a five pence piece. Within hours, Huey had died. Hugh and Christine believe the battery came from this toy. The cover has one screw, but they say the backing had come off and one battery was missing. He was a happy, healthy, beautiful baby boy. His life is completely gone at 19 months old. He'll not have a second birthday. I'm angry that there's been no warning about the batteries. I'm angry that I'm robbed of my son. We contacted VTech, the company who makes the toy. They say they're working with the relevant authorities to investigate the matter, adding customer safety is of the utmost importance and they take these matters very seriously. But charities say there are growing concerns. We're hearing increasingly from doctors who are really worried about the number of cases that they're seeing, the serious nature of some of the injuries that they're having to treat. Huey's parents say the local motorbike community has rallied around the family, even honouring him at this local cafe. Hugh and Christine are calling for button batteries to be banned to ensure no other family has to endure their pain. Louise Scott, ITV News, Motherwell.